Now, now, by these fuckers, by these fuckers, fuck the police. So fuck the police. I think pigs will beat my somebody for no reason. Our servants, our servants, just like the rest of us. Just, just like I don't want to screw with the police. I don't want to screw with the police. The police. I want to screw with what they're protecting. I really like the cops. They make me want to. They're like zombie slaves. Like get on the steps. Get on the steps. Get What's wrong with you people? What's wrong with you people? The divide between some occupiers wanting to be total pacifists mm -hmm. and others supporting what they call a diversity of tactics. Too often, what they mean by a diversity of tactics is including violence. And then, if that's what you mean by diversity of tactics, that to me that means perversity of tactics. Mm -hmm. You will not get anywhere with the police using violence. You will lose. They are much better equipped than we will ever be. And also, just as importantly, if not more importantly, with violence, you lose mainstream America. If we get enough mainstream Americans to join this movement, we will have the police join this movement. This is addressing the police. This is addressing the police. You have the choice. You have the choice. To disobey unjust order. To disobey. Anything to provoke them or antagonize them. Mm -hmm. Don't march in the street if you don't have a permit and it's illegal and they ask you to be on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. You have to obey the law. In humanizing ourselves, we have to talk to these officers. Mm -hmm. And we ha and everybody says, well, what would I say? I, I don't know what to say. Every single person in an occupied protest has something to say. And that is, they can tell the officer why they are there. Mm -hmm. and, that, and the officer may not even look at you while you're, talk he's, uh, you're talking to him or her, but they will hear you. And if enough people humanize themselves to the police in a respectful way, then you're going to have different uh, relations with the police. Okay, I will. I always like I'm conversing with fucking cops here. I'm not coming. The point is, they wear, they wear buttoned down <laughs> shirts. I mean, they're any different than other cops. That's, they have guns and they fucking hate us. People that are so frustrated uh, by the system and they, uh, they have so much pent up anger, they were told, hey, work within the system. Well, they did work within the system. And what did we get? We got a black George Bush, practically. So I can see where they're, they want to uh, gravitate towards some violence and, and just, if not for no other reason, just to vent all this pent up frustration. But you gotta put the goal of the movement above your personal expressions and anger. And the goal of this movement is basically take corporations out of controlling our lives. And if you wanna do that, we need the police on our side and we need mainstream America on our side. treaties with this government for years and this government has upheld none of those treaties. Mm -hmm. Zero. Zero. I mean that's like wow. But I think that there's people that still believe in this system and this government. And they get to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, we should support their efforts, whatever they feel is what they need to do. So I believe in a diversity of tactics. I don't want to go out and go confrontational with the police, although I have in my lifetime. We need to do whatever we can. This is the this empire that's here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take every one of us and everything we have to bring it down. Mm -hmm. And I worked up in Washington State on uh, immigration issues. We were doing a march because they had been, people had been driving by shooting into the camps, the immigrant camps that were there to pick apples and all that. They just drive by and shoot off guns. And so we felt like we had to come out and stop that. Mm -hmm. And we, we went on a march and there was a bridge. We got to the bridge, we were at one end and a whole police force was at the other end. Mm -hmm. And we looked at each other and we said, what are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. And we talked about it and we said, we're gonna go on through. Mm -hmm. So we locked arms, and I knew that day I was going to get a beat down. Yes. I knew it. And we walked across there, and the whole, this whole army of policemen just wow. spread apart. Jeez. And we walked right on through. Then I had children. 
and I can't feed my children if I'm in jail. Mm -hmm. So I quit being out. But now my children, they're in college. <laughs> so now I'm deciding what my... Coming out of retirement? Yeah, what is, what is my line? You know, like it was really effective at first, and it got it got it, we got people's attention, and we we gave our message even, and people understood it and agreed with it. But then it's kind of like you can't just keep doing that. Mm -hmm. They're getting better about arresting people. The media is getting more disciplined about not reporting on it. So yeah, we need something. Something else. People are more useful outside of jail than they are inside. Mm -hmm. We do need people to go to jail sometimes, unfortunately, to like raise awareness so mm -hmm. people can see that, okay, he got arrested for riding on the sidewalk with chalk, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. And I was always down to be like one of the people who were to get arrested in these situations because I know somebody has to do it, but when the battles that we were fighting didn't seem like they were fruitful, you know, to get arrested at this point when I can go be doing something else, you gotta just pick and choose your battles. It's really about to me when I look deeper about the tactics people are using or about the theory, it's about the strategy. So people who are young, often white male, adolescent energy, go out on the streets and throw down mailboxes and tear up street signs and make a mess in the street and like express their anger in that way. If there isn't strategy behind it, then it's problematic. I think that the question about diversity of tactics was actually should have always been more a question of strategy. Combining that potential and power with some of the uh, struggles that have been around for a long time that um, you know, need that sort of support and solidarity is a lot of, is, is really exciting. And I do think there's potential for that.